So, you've just installed Windows 8 and you may be feeling like this. OMG! F*** this shit. I'm going back to Windows 7. But before you do that, maybe you should watch this guide. Welcome to Tech Yes City, this is Brian coming back to you guys today with a Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 optimization guide. Now the, the goal of this guide is to make your OS as lightweight as possible so you don't get any stuttering or any of that crap going on when you're gaming. So this will be for gamers or for people who just want to make their OS awesome. Uh, make it also feel like Windows 7 but even better. So without further ado, I'll be in the bottom right corner here guiding you guys through. And I want you guys to get two programs and they are called Pocky Start Menu Setup and VLC Media Player. Uh, there's also an alternative to Pocky Start Menu Setup, so uh, it's called Classic Shell. So I'll put the links in the description below. So if you don't like Pocky, you can get Classic Shell. So what we want to do is install Pocky by double clicking on it and then click Continue. And basically, essentially, what this will do is it'll install a Start Menu on your desktop that will replace. Uh, your start menu button if you're on Windows 8.1. If you're on Windows 8, it will give you a start menu button. So this next little trick will be for people on Windows 8.1. So all you have to do is right click on the home and uncheck show Windows logo button. So that's if you're on 8.1. If you're on 8, you don't need to do that. Uh, so let's right click now that we've done that. Right click on the Windows key, go to settings, and then we want to uncheck these two boxes, show popular PC apps and show web results in search. Also, I like to change the icon here by left clicking on it and changing it to Windows. And I also like to disable all corner navigation. And then I like to click save. And now once I've done that, you'll see here you've got an awesome looking start menu. However, I like to get rid of this PC app store. So I right click on that and I click remove favorite. Now, once we've got a start menu back and we can see here, there's no more. If we click on start menu, there's no more going to the Metro interface. And so what we can do here is we can type in advanced system settings and then we can go to I like to favorite this as well so if you want to favorite something in Pocky you can just left click on the star and it'll put it in your favorites so I want you to go to view advanced system settings left click on that and now that we're in advanced here we can go to performance left click on settings and then we can go to custom and this is my personal favorite it makes it more snappier as well as making it a little bit less of uh, intense on your hardware so I also left click I like to put shadows under my mouse pointer so once we've unchecked those top seven boxes we can and then we've checked shadow show shadows under mouse pointer we can click apply and then we can go to advanced up the top here and make sure this is uh, this dots on programs adjust the best performance for programs and with virtual memory you don't need to touch that uh, though if you are a gamer and you only play games and you're on an SSD and you want to free up some SSD space then you can take that off uh, me nowadays I do a lot of video rendering so I actually need this on uh, so I can click apply and click OK and now the next uh, trick we want to go to is startup and recovery left click on settings and we want to uncheck time to display list of operating systems and that'll just make startup a little bit faster and then the next thing we can do is uh, left click on system protection and make sure this is turned off so we can go to configure and disable system protection and you can delete it as well so we left click delete click close disable system protection click apply and that'll free up some more space on your ssd and then the next tip uh, next tip we can do is go to remote and we can go to advanced left click on advanced and uncheck allow this computer to be controlled remotely so okay and then we can uncheck allow remote assistant connections to your com to this computer click op apply click OK and now we can click the start menu button again once we've done that and we can go to add remove programs and I like to add this to my favorites as well you can do that and then we left click on that add remove programs and now once we're here I can get rid of Pocky download helper I don't need it uh, but any other programs you have here you can get rid of them if you don't need them and you don't use them then you can get rid of them essentially this is mine here I need all these programs so I'm not going to get rid of them but after we've got rid of the programs you don't need you can go to uh, turn windows features on or off so left click on that and we can just go to media features because I've already installed VLC media player I can just get rid of Windows media player and I can use VLC in its place for my music and my videos so now that that's done we can then move on to the next step which is left click the windows and type in control panel another one that I like to favorite and once we've opened up control panel uh, one other trick that I like to go to is view by left click on view by 
and change it to small icons. And that'll bring back all your options again so you can see everything here. So now that we're here, we can go to left click on power options. And I like to leave it on balanced, especially if you're on a desktop computer or a laptop uh, where you need to, uh, where you want your computer to essentially save power when it's not in use. So, but one thing I do like to do is go to change plan settings and I like to change this, put the computer to sleep, never. And then I like to go to change advanced power settings. So left click on that. And then we go to left click on hard disk, turn off hard disk after. And this is my personal favorite as well. I like to type in never, click apply. And I also like to go here to desktop background settings, left click on that, left click on slideshow and change it to paused from available by left clicking on it. Click apply, okay. Now we can save changes and we're ready for the next tip. So once you're back on the desktop, another trick that I like to do is click on the taskbar, right click on it, go to properties, and then I like to never combine these items. So I click on this tab, never combine. Also like to go to navigation and uncheck these top two corner navigation buttons and then click apply. So essentially this will make your desktop, I mean it's a personal preference, if you don't want to do it you don't have to. So the next tip I like to do is right click on the desktop, go to left click on personalize, and then down the bottom left corner here we can go to ease of access center. I like to left click on that, and then left click on make it easier to focus on tasks. And I like to tick this box here, prevent windows from being automatically arranged when moved to the edge of the screen. So check that, click apply, click OK, and now we are ready for the next step. So we can left click on the start menu button or just hit it on your keyboard and type in command and then right click that and go open as administrator. And now once we've done this, we can type in here power, uh, is it power CFG slash H and then type off. And what's what this will do is it will turn off hibernation. So if you need hibernation, you can leave that on but I like to turn off hibernation and free up some SSD space. Uh, so once that's done, you should have a bit more SSD space. And another thing we can do is go to left click on the File Explorer tab here down on your taskbar and go to View and make sure File Name Extensions is checked. And so that'll bring up some file name extensions. And you see here my disk space, I've actually freed up about 10 gigabytes by just doing these tricks. Uh, so now once that's done, we've got these files here, as you can see, I can see the extensions on them. And so what you want to do is make sure that they open up with Windows Photo Viewer uh, instead of going to that Windows app program, which is Photos. So you can go here, left, so you right click on your photo, or if it's a movie, you can play that with VLC. Uh, you can right click on this and go open with Choose Default Program, and you can do uh, Windows Photo Viewer keep using Windows Photo Viewer and that'll just open up my photos with Windows Photo Viewer. So now the next step is to turn off automatic updating on programs that use automatic updating. So if you can see here you can click on open up Skype by right clicking on the bottom right corner here and go right click on Skype and go to open Skype and once we've opened Skype we can click on tools here and options and essentially we can just go to uh, privacy here and uncheck accept Skype browser cookies and allow Microsoft targeted apps. We can also clear the Skype cookies out and then we can go down to advanced and uncheck all these boxes here and then we can go down to automatic updates, turn off automatic updates and click save. And that should make Skype a little bit more lightweight and not as invasive. Uh, next step we can right click on the desktop, uh, sorry not right click on the desktop, we can go down the bottom right corner here right click and on the NVIDIA icon and open NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This is if you're on an NVIDIA graphics card. And another thing here, we can go down to left click on updates, automatically check for updates, take it off, and we can uncheck all these as well. And then we're good to go, so we can save. So I like to manually check for updates anyway. Now let's move on to the last step of the guide. Okay, so for this next part, we're on the desktop, we can just press Control alt delete and then we can left click on task manager. And now once we're in here, we'll see a heap of processes here and it's got background processes and it's also got apps. So one thing that we want to look for here is to make sure that we are not, um, well something here is not using the uh, CPU all that lot, or a lot. So if we left click on the CPU tab, uh, this arrow here, it'll actually show us what 
programs are using the most amount of the CPU. As we see here, I'm actually recording at the moment for you guys with desktop software. So this will be using 20% roughly. But besides that, we can see that really not, not a lot of programs are using the CPU. Uh, the max is maybe, yeah, 3% from desktop window manager. And that's this program itself using resources. So besides these two programs, I really don't have a lot of CPU usage going on here. So that's actually a really good thing. You can see here Pocky, that only uses up 0.1%, so it's really nothing. Uh, so if we left click on performance here, uh, the performance tab, we can right click on change graph two, and you wanna make sure it's selected at logical processes. So this will bring up a graph for every processor or every thread on your CPU. And now with this, you just wanna look at it and make sure nothing's spiking here as well. So that's one thing that you wanna look for. Make sure nothing is spiking and you wanna make sure that it's pretty flat. If I wasn't using Camtasia at the moment to record the desktop, it would be relatively like down the bottom here. All the lines would be relatively flat. Uh, as you can see here, even with the desktop recording software going, it's still smooth, like it's still at a stable level. Uh, so once we've done that, we click on memory as well. We can check memory and make sure memory is not doing the same as well. So if you are getting big spikes here, you can then go to processes and you can watch this and you can see which program is momentarily coming up. And then you can right click on that program, end task or open file location, and then you can delete it and get rid of it and, abs and just kill it for good. So basically the whole thing of this uh, the point of this guide is to make sure that nothing is really spiking too high as if you're getting that in games that will cause stuttering so this is just something that I personally like to do if I'm getting stuttering in games and I'll check and make sure and make and find out what program it is you can also click on start up here and find out what uh, if you're loading up a lot of crap that you don't need you can just right click it and click disable and that should disable that program from booting up at start so uh, for me personally I use all these programs so I actually need them on startup so that's it guys in conclusion I will say that this my OS is pretty much now like Windows 7 but in my opinion only better and I think Windows 8 has the slight advantage or 8.1 has the slight advantage over Windows 10 and Windows 7 but keep in mind that Windows 10 is still only in beta I do believe that'll get better as time goes on but as it stands, Windows 8 is currently the best OS to be on, in my opinion, if you're a gamer. And with these tweaks that I've applied today, I think it's awesome now. Like, you've got no stuttering, and you've got a OS that looks amazing and functions really well. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions about this guide, then please leave a comment in the comments section below. And I'll catch you guys with another tech video very soon. Bye.